So today I would like to talk about the very interesting, very fun and slightly psychedelic topic of the overtone series. Now, every time we hear a sustained note, it's actually not just one note, but a whole spectrum of other notes known as the overtone series or harmonics. Now, these harmonics are the reason why even just a single sustained note can sound incredibly rich and dynamic. Okay, so when we hear that single sustained note, that string or air column isn't just vibrating as a whole, it's also vibrating as a half and as a third and as a quarter and as a fifth, etc., etc. Let me demonstrate. So I'm going to play a single sustain note and then I'm going to lightly touch on the string to isolate the node at the half. Then at the third. Now at the quarter. Now at the fifth. Etc, etc. So you can see how these notes are interacting with each other in real time, just on a guitar string. Another example that I can give is for me to sing a note and then isolate the various harmonics within that air column. So we've got Now, if you want to hear people do a much better job of overtone singing, just Google overtone singing and prepare to have your mind blown. So why is this important? Well, because overtones or harmonics are actually built into nature. They're not man-made. And we've used these overtones to create modern scales as we know them today. And secondly, because overtones are the reason why different instruments sound different, because the overtones interact differently depending on the medium that the instrument is made of and that the airwaves are passing through. So next time you hear a single sustained note, remember, it's not just a single note. See if you can hear the choir of notes within. I'm Hugh. When I'm not composing music for brands and film, I'm diving down musical rabbit holes so you don't have to. Follow along to get the breakdowns.